Hello everybody, welcome to ZGC, my name is Aurelius, and we're hopping into the City of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia, also known as DOO, they just had a maintenance, which usually means update, and this is all the good stuff that's coming, here's summon board, um, second 5 star armor for all characters up to Rosa, which means every character um <laughs> artifacts are that can now be found in the radiant artifact the permanent ones for those four characters um cycle quest two times exp and rewards for a limited time and as always data update for upcoming events in uh user uh friendly stuff so everything we got from the update the summon board oh my gosh we'll get into that a little bit later that thing's ridiculous um here's a gem cell you know uh here until june 8th so about a week and nothing too fancy just gems uh not really worth it in my opinion you know, um, if you find yourself desperate for gems, yeah, it is more gems than, than, uh, normal, but, you know, unless they're giving away armor tokens, <laughs> especially armor tokens now, um, or, you know, other goodies, it's not really worth it, in my opinion, and the thing I've been waiting for <laughs> all month is the June schedule, as you see, Rosa is out we will get ifrit as of tomorrow uh who knows what the timing of this thing it might be tonight in which i will try to post another video doing all that good stuff um perfectum lost chapter trials which does not sound very easy uh we'll just have to wait until the third to see what that brings and that's also going to be coming out at the same time as kefka's lost chapter which kefka is a very interesting character if you don't have him already he's he's like a utility character that prevents enemies from doing hp attacks you know, he has some very interesting debuffs, and we'll see if his EX weapon comes out with him as well, and what his crystal passives are. You know, um, then Golbez, a week later, new character. I know a lot of people have been waiting on him, and there's just a whole lot of black crystal high shards. You know, I think I'll save mine for Golbez, and I've been boosting up black crystal characters periodically but nobody i'm really using you know what i'm saying um oh so we'll try to boost up gold beth because when it comes to villains of final fantasy he's definitely one of the biggest pains in the butt and if you go back and look at my old school heaven strike rivals videos where goldbag was a uh, event character he's just op goldbez is just op as you see the summer festival event and lena's last chapter on the 17th you know then the summer festival should come in halfway through the month and carry us to the end and i'm sure there's going to be more stuff at it um along the way but a pretty exciting month coming our way you know um and i can't wait to get into all of it uh you see panel missions they're expiring very very soon so with the splashers the little blue fish enemies uh we showed off in my last video where to find them uh kuja's lost chapter Quistus's lost chapter on the beach side, you know, and I'm sure there's various chapter missions that can house them too. But if you haven't completed any of these, go ahead and knock them out. And if you're late on the logins, I am very, very sorry for you. You're missing out on a, some gems and some 300 gems and five draw tickets.
with that, uh, here's all the new stuff. You know, um, all the stuff going away, the Crossroads of Illusions, the Trials of Diabolos, if you haven't gotten the event rewards for that yet, and, you know, just a few hours left on the Power of Magic Chasms. So, you know, get all that stuff done, and here are some results of some 5-star draws, I know probably know you guys See the gym count, it has been severely completed, and that's mainly because I've been trying to get uh, Rosa's EX just for footage for that intro. Like, I've had that intro put together, you know, for a little bit. I mean, I did a little bit more work on it, you know, but I was just trying to get the EX because nobody really has. Rosa boosted up, and nobody has her as a support character. And this crazy month, and the tap out on blue high crystal shards, you know, uh, she's a very difficult character to <laughs> to max out to MLB, you know. Um, and like I said, I was trying to get an EX, did not get it. Uh, you saw the results from the multi draws. I also spent about, I don't know, 50 ish draw tickets on it and still no ex which is really poopy but Rydia is not coming out next month so we'll save up for Rydia but these blue crystals or the blue high crystal shards yeah Sid comes around in July we may not be able to get them which is another character I'm willing to tap out on is a uh, Final Fantasy 7 Sid you know, and I do apologize for the lack of videos that have been going up. It's just seeing one that was all glitchy and everything, and I was playing it from a certain device. And, you know, I wanted to make sure that it's not happening anymore. So I've been doing stuff on my end to try to correct that, you know, um... Uh, yeah, it was, I think it was just the device I was playing it on, like, everything else I've tried, you know, um, all the videos seem to be fine, you know, so, if it's super glitchy when you're watching it, please let me know down there in that comment section so I can try to fix that, um... I was about to go do a co-op. Yeah, it's, I recorded this without any sound. So, I'm having to voice over. So, if my voice isn't in sync with what's going on on the screen. That's part of the reason why. Because <laughs> I derped out and and completely uh, recorded all of this with no sound. Which I do apologize for. You know, But here we're looking into the new 5-star armor. You know, which these things are crazy. You know, um, and you do have to have the previous five star armor MLB before you can actually um, get to the new armor. So that's a whole ton of armor tokens. So 20 for the base armor, you know, their first armor, you know, then it's 20 tokens, 20 armor tokens for one of these new ones, and, you know, I decided to go ahead and get Bart's armor, he's probably my best character right now, you know, um, especially with just his high move count, I have his EX, and... And, uh, he's just a great all-around character for any situation. You know, and with his, uh, mix of melee and range, he can be used in several situations. But as you can see, that was pretty much all the characters' armors are in here up to Rosa, which is pretty much every character in-game. You know, um, yeah, and they start off with 90 CP, 90, which is just insane. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, but uh, this part of the reason for that is they have to make room for for the uh, a passive ability of the first armor, which is 10 CP, uh, as we'll find out here shortly. You know, um, those are the base stats of it. You know, similar abilities to the previous armor. I mean, not too fancy. I mean, you can go find regular armor with those kind of stats on them. No, so the passive abilities on these aren't too great. I was kind of hoping for a damage limit break for them. Oh, excuse me. You know, but that just isn't the case. Here, I'm comparing, you know, the new armor to the old armor. You know, at level 1 and maxed out. I don't know why I just didn't switch over to my party one because that party always has barts in it you know that's like my main uh boss beating squad you know so boom you see loses a little bit of initial brave a little bit of max brave and a whole ton of defense but cp and hp does go up which Probably the two most important things. Um, like I said, CP just more CP is just always good because it gives you room for for additional abilities. And I know I have some characters with EX abilities, but their artifact skills just ended up so high that you know I don't have all three artifact skills on them. So with this new armor, you'll be able to accomplish that. Here, I go ahead and level up. The armor, you know, then I go back and compare it to, you know, the current five star armor, which you guys are going to be pretty impressed with these results. Like, if you have the 20 armor tokens right now, uh, go ahead and start copying yourself this new armor, you know, for, for your favorite character or your best character. You know what I'm saying? Because it is pretty worth it. You know, on top of the just the additional 20 CP, I know that get a lot of people, the, depending on their artifact skill cost, the, the one or two artifacts that they want but just don't have room for. You know what I'm saying? Or some of the base abilities that, uh, that they had to remove to make room for their artifact skills. So, yeah, I mean, just... Comparatively, just 100 less defense, you know, um, about 100 initial brave and the 300 max brave, you know, which I'm pretty sure will go up once we limit break and just straight up outclass that armor with the first limit break. I'm very excited to get some armor tokens and, and doing that. Kind of wish I didn't spend armor tokens on uh maxing out Rosa's uh, gear, you know what I'm saying, and yeah, my Bart's artifacts were pretty, pretty, uh, uh, low cost, so I didn't have any issues there with Bart's, and as you see, once I equip the previous armor's passive ability, I get that initial Brave and Max Brave back, so not losing out on anything, just major... Uh, boost to defense major major boost to defense you know I'm not going to go through all the characters and show off all the armors and possibilities you guys can do that on your own just because it's 90 characters in game right now you know what I'm saying um, here I was checking out the summon boards unfortunately very sad news about this I mean it's also awesome news but there's no way to get it right now at the time of me recording this no chance of of completing this you know at all I know but as you can see here um, uh, you spend summon points to unlock spaces which will power up the characters and they can get passes 
from the summon along the way, which is absolutely crazy. Unfortunately, you can only have one passive from the summons, you know, and you have to unlock a previous space or an adjacent space to unlock other stuff. But as you can see here, 15 initial brave plus 20 max brave. Um, this is just showing you how to unlock a bunch of spaces. You, All y'all will go through that little tutorial screen once you tap on it. You know, um, it attack 100 points to unlock uh, from some stuff I see later on. We don't know exactly how many points, but it is seen up to 400 points, you know, earned once we're able to get these. You know, and there's like little treasure spots too on here, which I have no idea what those unlock. They didn't even talk about those. You know what I'm saying? But here at the tippy top of the chain is 500 points to get, you know, and if stages are running, you know, 200 to 400 points per. I mean, it's going to be a lot of runs, but you'll be able to batch up a bunch of them at a time like that um yeah the one thing i didn't check if this was per character you know which if it is this is gonna be so much to do coming in the near future you know what i'm saying just straight up so much to do and the slots for every summon i was naming them off when i was recording them here so yeah that's for every single summon right there, which there's 10 summons in the game, which is pretty, pretty impressive. I didn't realize there was that many summons, you know, until I got here. You know, I, I wish I would have tapped on a different character just to see if, you know, if it's per character or, or uh, just in general, all you have to do is unlock it once and it's available for all characters. But we'll just have to wait and see for that. Um, yeah, and you can see is going to the summon. Can't get him leveled up yet. You know, and like I said, maybe that event, like I said, just because of the UTC timing of the game and when they schedule things sometimes it comes out the evening before schedule date i know it says the 30th but for them they're going to hit the 30th 30th before we in america do you know and i'm on the west coast so usually for me that's around 6 7 p.m you know pacific time that you know some of this stuff actually comes out you know, so uh, here I'm running a a uh, trial effort to see if we can try to get some of these summon points. You know, uh, spoiler alert, we don't. But it's a really good look at the EX mission. I hope you guys took advantage of the half SP event that was going on to try to max out your ifrit. You know, because with him being the first character being unlocked, or or first summon, not character, the first summon being unlocked uh, to hit max 30, which I, I mean, 4,000 max brave boost, I didn't wonder how much that's going to go up by, you know, on top of, you know, the bonuses that he gives. You know, this is just gonna, if it's gonna become insane and everybody's gonna be rocking him for the time being, <laughs> you know, it's just bonuses. A lot of people rock if it, period, just because that uh, uh, bonus to attack he gives for being over 80% HP. You know, he's definitely one of the more useful summons. You know, where don't really need to do um, anything fancy to trigger his abilities. I know like with Diabolos, you need to be below 50% HP to get a 20% elemental damage boost or with uh, 
Uh, I can never remember that dude's name. The skeleton rider dude. You know, that begins with a Z. Like with him, you have to be below 20% HP to get a major uh, damage boost. You know, it's way more than Ifrit's, but... Oh, excuse me. No, it's way more than Ifrit's, but you have to be dangerously low on HP for it to activate. You know, little summons like that. You know, with the wind summon, you know, his only trigger is Unchained. So if you're not running Lel or somebody with a guaranteed knockback like uh, Dark Cecil or um, Cloud, you know, characters like that, you know, and obviously Lel, um, Thing would be another one that has a guaranteed knockback move. Uh, you know, it's hard to take advantage of of the Wind Dude. You know, I, do, I like using the Wind Dude as an elemental if the, if the enemies I'm facing are weak to Wind. <laughs> There's not too many characters in here that use wind attacks. You know, there's only a handful of them. Uh, Fusion, uh, Vaughn, you know, and I think one of Precious' moves might have wind attached to it. Yeah, I was just checking to see if I got any summon points, which I didn't. We'll get into that later on, though. You know, um... And I was heading into the goal of today's uh, episode, which is just a quick co-op of Rosa's uh, event, A uh, Prayer for One Deer. You know, um, I think I lucked out and ended up with somebody joining me joining that had her EX so you guys get to see that in action you know without anything crazy going on in the uh, <laughs> intro and to see its full capabilities and damage you know what I'm saying so you know um, I was gonna post those uh, screenshots of of um The draws I did right here, you know, so you guys get the looks at those. It's just the multi draws. Um, this video is pretty long just because of all the information that came out and all <laughs> trying to find out as much information as we possibly can about certain things. So, you know, I'm not going to show off all the single ticket draws that I did, which, like I said, was about 50 of them. You know, uh, let's see, 42 plus 15, yeah, 57. So it's more closer to 60. 60 draw tickets and 15,000 gems. No EX. How heartbreaking is that? That's just, ugh. Very heartbreaking. These enemies here are weak to wind and holy. You know, uh, Quistus is awesome for these bosses with her delay which you want, and you definitely don't want to run this without somebody using Rosa. You know, excuse me. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's like a party of three Quistuses, and you can just delay them until they're dead. <laughs> you know, but these enemies can do a ton of damage. When they say hatred power... You know, uh, usually their next buff is going to be heavy chain damage on following break. So when they break a character, you know, they'll follow it up with an HP attack. You know, and it's usually enough to kill the character. Which, uh, where Rosa's auto-revive from Prey comes in. You know, because you need that. It guys probably didn't experience it when you're doing the solo i don't know if you've experienced it you know uh well if you did the ex yeah you definitely want rose in the party and just bring two other capable soldiers i mean these guys aren't resistant to magic ranger melee so 
bring your best with Rosa in the party and try to get the highest score you can. I mean, I did my EX with with the boosted characters, which is also Yuri and and uh, Sabin. Which, those two <laughs> are not my greatest characters, and you know what I'm saying, by any means at all. I don't have any of the weapons uh, broken. You know, I did get a few of their 15 CPs one throughout all those draws that I've done, you know, and that's pretty much what I use. I do want to go back and, like, use Bart's and, and I don't know, Titus, maybe, you know, and try to beat the EX with them, you know, because Bart's Missile and Yuri's uh, Rilia Crystal kind of do the same thing. They drop the enemy's Brave by three quarters, then launch a Brave attack on top of HP attack, which these guys get up to 10k brave so easy, it's ridiculous, you know what I'm saying, it's definitely one of the more challenging EX quests I've come across, you know, and it's just the simple fact that if they break one of your characters, they're pretty much dead, <laughs> you know, because... Uh, 10k, as you saw, was their max, you know, and there's not too many characters that have over 10k HP, even if you give them all the HP buffs in the world, there's just a few characters that can't even hit 10k HP, even when they're boosted, you know what I'm saying, so, yeah, it was Pretty fun battle, uh, just normal rewards for killing these things off. I believe it's going to go up to 60 for your kill. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. You know, the co-op isn't too challenging, especially with all the people rocking Quistus right now and her being a, a hidden third uh, character, or a uh, hidden fourth boosted character, I should say, not third, because everyone is three, um, yeah, she helps out a ton, and here I'm going through how to find summon points. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they just gave a lot more information than just the summon board tutorial. You know. So, I mean, it does look like it's individual characters. So, you're going to have to get points for every single character by the wording of that. Um... You have to be in the World of Illusions Ultimate, which is probably going to be a new section to the World of Illusions. I don't know if this Ifrit event that's coming out is going to be permanent or time limited. But you best believe I'm spending a whole bunch of time in it. And I'll definitely show off all the stages and how to go about beating those the best I can <laughs> when it does come out. You know, this is what I was talking about, 200 points uh, for especially boosted characters. You know, um, doesn't stack, so all you need is one boosted character in the party to get it. So going in with a full, full party of boosted characters won't help you at all. There's, you only need one, unfortunately. Um... Double EXP characters also earn more. Let's see, they're showing Tifa as an example where she's earning double XP but but not boosted. Here you can use a book of training to get more, which is awesome news because if you're like me, you don't really use a whole lot of book of training. It's just when a new character comes out and run a bunch of cycle quests. You know, um, so yeah, I have a reason to use my uh, books and tomes of training now, 
which I have plenty of, I think I have like over 20 books and about 10 tomes. So, yeah. Anyway, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. I hope you did enjoy. Now, if you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Um, if you want to stay up to date with content going up on the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. If you have any questions or concerns, or just let me know how I'm doing. Or if, God forbid, this video glitches out while you're watching it, go ahead and let me know down there in the comment section. And go ahead and spread the word. Like, I'm trying to grow this channel, you know, with more more people watching with more support we can do more things you know which allows me to make better videos for all y'all so spread the word too that's kind of the key thing and down there in the subscription uh or not subscription bar the description that's the word i'm looking for description um i should have links to my facebook and my discord as well so you can follow me on those platforms well anyway i hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you later.